Okay, in this video we're going to do an unboxing of the Logitech Review with Google TV. Now, if you've been a fan of my channel or you've checked previous videos I've done, I actually purchased the Sony version, the Blu-ray version, uh, with Google TV. And I had that late last year, sometime in October of 2010, and I really liked the device, uh, and I needed a Blu-ray player at the time. At the time, I bought that version, the Sony version, for $400, and I felt it was just a bit overpriced. So what I ended up doing, I ended up selling it to a guy in Tokyo, Japan. And uh, hopefully he was okay after they had all those earthquakes and everything there, although I know uh, all that stuff happened north of Tokyo, but you never know. So about 10 or so days ago, Logitech reduced the price on the Logitech review with Google TV, from $249 all the way down to $99. So at that price, I think it's probably a little underpriced. It probably should be around $149 because you actually get a web browser in this. But at $99, I'm not complaining. So I thought I'm going to pick one of these up and get back into Google TV because soon there's actually going to be an Android Honeycomb update to Google TV and supposedly the Logitech review is going to get that update. So that should be coming within the next month or two. So if you don't have a Google TV and you might be interested, now is the time to pick one up. You can get a Logitech review for $99. You can get it, I believe, at Best Buy or from the Logitech website. It's a steal. It actually costs the same as a Roku device, but you actually get a full keyboard with this and you actually get a, a web browser with it. So it's really a steal at $99. So here's the device. Without any further ado, let's open this thing up and see what's on the inside of it. All right, there we go. Logitech review with Google TV. Another box within a box here. Let's put that to the side. And there's just some packaging in here. Let's put this to the side here. And it's in a bag, so let's unbag it. Do an unbagging video. And there we go. Let's do a quick tour around the box. Logitech review with Google TV. You get TV, web, movies, apps, and more. If you can think it, you can watch it. Up top. Tells you what's in the box. On the bottom, some branding. Some more branding here. Now, if you're interested in this device, one thing to note, the only inputs you can get, there's a couple of ways you can run it. You can run it just as the device itself. You don't have to hook your cable into it at all. Uh, that way you get the web browsing and you can watch things on it. You can stream to it. Things of that nature. But you do need an HDMI on your television set that you're going to be um, you know, watching it on, or at least some some sort of intermediary like a receiver or something uh, in between that and your television. So there are no ports on this device uh, to port it out to your television other than an HDMI. This device was was uh, intended to sit between your cable box and your television set, so you can actually control your cable box with it. And your mileage may vary on that because some it works with some cable companies and does not work with others. So definitely check with your uh, cable company and see if it's going to work with uh, you know your set-top box. But uh, it does work on its own. You, know, you just don't have the uh, integration with the actual TV channels if you do uh, just hook it up on its own. That's just one thing to note. Uh, the back of the device here, or the back of the box actually, uh, basically just gives you an overview. Um, you know, you have your bookmarks. You can have a full. It has a full web browser on here, so you can watch. Uh, you know, YouTube or surf the internet. Uh, you have playlists of things you might want to watch. You have the availability to do video calling. Uh, you need uh, a camera attachment for that. It does not come with the camera itself. And uh, you know, there's an integrated search. If you have this set up with your cable box. You can actually search for pretty much anything. You want to watch something on TV, you type it into this keyboard here, and it looks it up, whether it's online or from your cable company. So it's a really cool thing. Now let's uh, open this up here. Now 
Now, this device and all Google TV devices, I think there are only two on the market right now, they run off of Android. So, the Android market is allegedly coming to this device. I can't say when because I don't know. But I do know, like I said, that Honeycomb is going to be ported to this device within the next couple of months. So that's something to watch out for. So let's open up the box here. And the first thing you're greeted with is the keyboard. So this is the keyboard here. It's a basic keyboard and it feels pretty good. Uh, Logitech does make some great peripherals, makes some great uh, remotes and things like that. So uh, the quality is there with the company. Uh, you have your basic Android buttons here, and then your menu button over here, which is the fourth Android button. You have some media keys here, a uh, rewind, play, pause, and fast forward. You actually have a mouse pad up here with a mouse button here. And you have a couple of uh, keys up top here, which uh, might be a little bit different than uh, you know a regular keyboard. You have a right mouse click here. You have a mute. You have your volume here. You have a TV button, a guide button, and a DVR button. Over here you have, you can choose your inputs over here. Other than that, it's kind of a, a regular keyboard. It's a good size. It's not, it's not uh, big, and it's not small either. Uh, you definitely be able to type on there with no problems. The top of the keyboard here, it uh, has a on-off switch here. And let's see the back of the keyboard. The back of the keyboard has your Logitech branding here. It's plastic, and this is a rubberized foot here, which, uh, if you can see it there, is kind of extended outwards, so you can get that angle on it if you're laying it down there like a regular keyboard. On the side, pretty much nothing there. You just get a side view there. Obviously the same on the other side, and it's very thin at the bottom here. Now, on the back of the keyboard here, you have this rubberized foot here and it actually hides the battery compartment so I don't know if you can see it but there's some arrows pointing to the uh, to the right here and all you need to do is push this over and pull this off and you see already installed two AA Duracell batteries in there so let me close that back up and that's where you would replace the batteries should you need to do that so that is the keyboard. Let's put that to the side and, and dive deeper into the box here. You have some documentation over here. It's actually in an envelope. Now this is the device itself right here. It's not very big and I will uh, put that to the side real quick while I look at what else is in the box here. And in here we have the cords. So let's see what you get here. First thing out, you get an HDMI cable here, which is nice that they included that in there. Let's see, you get your power adapter here, and there's the power cord there. Let's put that to the side. And here is the IR blaster, I believe. So this is going to communicate with your cable box. So you'll just use the keyboard here to control everything, to control the Google TV uh, Logitech review device and then that device can through the IR blaster control your cable box and and the like. Let's put that to the side and I think that is everything. So this is the device itself and it came out sometime last year I believe it was October of last year so almost a year ago. Let's pull this out of the bag here. And here is the device. It has some plastic on top. And it's a very shiny plastic with the Logitech logo up top there. As you can see, I get a glare there from the camera and everything. But uh, that's the, the top of the device there. And it actually has an Intel Atom processor. And it's actually branded on there. Now these up here on top of the device these three things are the IR blasters that are built actually into the Logitech review itself. Now the corded version I just showed you a second ago, that's in case you find that these IR blasters are not working with your devices if they're out of range. So you actually have a corded version where you can actually run it up close to a peripheral that might not be responding to the IR blasters built into the machine itself. And of course the IR Blaster allows you to control your, you know, your television set, your receiver, your cable box, all through the Logitech keyboard.
so you don't need any additional remotes. Uh, the front of the device has Logitech branding here, and that's pretty much it on the front. Now on the left side of the device here you have a vent, and that's probably replicated on the right side, yeah, pretty much the same on the right side. So on the back of the device here you have a reset pairing button here, you have your HDMI in port here, you have your IR blaster ports here, you have two USB ports here, you have an Ethernet jack, you have an HDMI out, you have your optical audio out, and you have your power adapter port here. And on the bottom of the device, basically, you have just four little uh, feet, rubber feet, and your Logitech sticker on the bottom from the FCC. So that is the Google TV, the Logitech review with Google TV and I'm going to be setting this up and probably the next time you see this in a video I'm actually going to be pitting it against the Roku 2 which I actually just got as well and if you're interested in in the Roku 2 check my channel because I have some videos up on that as well now if you're also interested in Google TV in general I have some more in-depth videos from my Sony Google TV with the Blu-ray I have uh, uh, more in-depth videos with that device. So it, like I said, if you're interested in how Google TV works, please check my channel and look up Sony Internet TV with Google TV and I have a series of videos there to show you pretty much how the device works and what you can do with it. So that pretty much does it for this video. I will see you next time.